Hi guys, another inbox review, again a Bronco, and again this one will be appearing in my uh, Bridge Too Far group build, and again I will be doing an after build review follow up on this one as well. Now this is the Staghound, uh, model CB35021, and we'll go around the box quickly, they're saying cartograph decals for a couple of different countries, photo etch, and there's a copy of the sheet, and just a quick uh, drawing or a finished one. Uh, this model is from 2008, according to the trademarks on it, and we'll skip right into the instruction sheet. And there's, of course, the normal blah, blah, blah. According to this, uh, and quite obviously to look at it, it's a, cru no, it's a Crusader turret that's being mounted on a Staghound. And apparently somehow they fitted a, a 75 millimeter, they probably mean a 6-pounder, into the turret. And according to their little blurb, they don't know how many were made, but there was at least one. Uh, so we'll carry on. And we got how to deal with decals, special instructions, the color callouts for the paint, uh, Gunzi Sanyo, Hobby Color, Humbrol and Tamiya, the sprue map, with a fair number of parts that aren't being used for such a small, relatively small kit. And it's not a hull tub. What you're getting is a flat piece with the sides you've got to attach. I'm not a particular fan of that. It's just if you screw up that first step, nothing else will work. I just prefer the tubs to build on, but I'll live. And you're already adding some of the suspension. And then the. Uh, the axle housings, the drive shafts, more suspension. One thing they do on this one is any special instructions they want to draw your eye to, they put in green. Unfortunately, unlike the previous one, the photo etch is just in black and white. So you gain something, you take, or you, you gain one, you lose one. Then uh, you're building the top. The rear and more little parts. And again, you've got to trim off excess on that. Uh, looks like foot stirrups. Photo etch for the tools. And keep adding stuff. And photo etch. Tiny little piece, it looks like. For God knows what. <laughs> More of the same. Uh, fenders, wheels, which are only two piece. Unlike the previous one where there were probably about eight pieces for each wheel. And finally you start putting together the gun. And put the turret together. More of the turret details. And then slapping the turret and the turret ring in. The options they give you are uh, the Royal Armored Corps Gunnery School 43, 12th Manitoba Dragoons, Germany 45, Danish Army 46, and 2nd New Zealand Infantry Division Italy 45. Anyway, we'll move on with the actual pieces. And that's the bottom of the hull and the hull sides and some of the suspension. Again, to give you an idea of the size, out comes the Cromwell. Now this thing flares out from the base. The sides are actually angled out, so it's a little bit wider than this. And it's a tall vehicle. The wheels on it are huge. 
So it, it's probably going to end up about the same length and a little bit narrower than a Cromwell. Just so you get an idea. Anyway, there's no extra flash. That one bit looks like it's going to break off soon. Machine gun mount. That there's the turret. Now it's a one-piece molding for the gun. It looks pretty good. The turret top. Bottom of the turret. Lots of rivets. And I suspect it may be a little bit large for the scale, but doesn't matter too much. Uh, storage boxes. So we got to move that back a bit. Lots of little parts, tie downs. Drive shaft, all sorts of stuff on here. It looks like the Periscope covers there. Again, no flash, clean. The molding is quite well done. And tools, hatches, fuel tank, more bits and bobs, eyelets. Fenders, the top of the hull. No photo etch for the radiators, but that right there. Let's get it closer. You got to cut those out. Doesn't look like it'll take too much to break this frame piece once it's on its own, especially cutting those out. I have to be careful with that. But other than that, again, decent molding. No flash. And there's those wheels. Again, just to give you an idea of perspective. The wheels are almost as tall sorry, as the hull of a Cromwell. So, this vehicle is going to be tall. Fuel can, storage box, leaf springs, some odds and sods on there, headlight covers, and etc. Uh, nicely done again. This looks like a complete duplicate, and it is. This is the one we just looked at. Same stuff. Yep. This is a little flexed, but there's no parts that should be affected by that. You know, it's a little twisted and contorted. If you're seeing that, yeah, kind of. And it's a little bit straighter. This one's got a lot of clear parts to deal with. Hopefully not all are used. Lots of periscopes. And some windshields. The small wiper is already molded on. I don't know if that's picking up or not. Doubt it. Eh, kind of. Yep, there we go. Mm. That one, the decals by Cartograph, nice and clean. There's not a huge amount of excess clear material around the, the subject. And throw them in with that. Let's 
lost the photo etch. Just a little bit thicker than that needs to be. But it's still not thick, really. It all looks decent. Now I'm not going to take it up, but a little bit of rope in order to become cabling. So, that is that. And as I said, uh, you'll see this again once it's actually built up. So, have a good day.